Hey, and welcome back for another episode of Cooking with Jash. On today's menu, we have some Greek salmon with zucchini. So let's go through our ingredients for the day, and then we'll start cooking. We have got two zucchini. Recipe calls for one, but personal preference, I want to use two of them. We're going to need about four to six uh, salmon fillets. You will need half a lemon sliced, two garlic cloves minced, the juice of one lemon, one russet potato, and for our seasonings, you will need paprika, salt, pepper, and olive oil. Now, that is the main part of our meal today. You can decide if you want to join me in making a Greek themed salad. So for that, we are going to need some arugula, crumbled feta, that's about half a cup. I've got some dried oregano, red wine vinegar, half the juice of a lemon, and you will need some cherry tomatoes, as well as half a red onion and a cucumber. Now that we've got that all covered, let's begin with our prep. Now before we get into chopping up our vegetables, we're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect. Now let's make our way over to the cutting board. So I've already peeled my potato, so I'm just going to thinly slice this into one quarter inch slices. Now my math and measurements are not the greatest, so I hope my sous chef will give me a nod if this looks like a quarter. Now I'm just going to cut the zucchini in the same style as the potatoes. Perfect. Now we are going to plate this onto our baking sheet. Now that our potatoes and zucchini have been prepped, we're now going to lay them flat on the parchment paper. Now I've made two long pieces of parchment paper because we're going to make kind of like a little parchment sack for the salmon so they can cook. There you go, so just individual layer of potatoes. Cool. All right. Now we're going to layer on the zucchini, same style, single layer of zucchini. Now that our zucchini potatoes are laid out, we're just going to sprinkle some salt and pepper on top. and some pepper. Perfect. Now we can move on to the salmon. So we're gonna make the seasoning for the salmon. You're going to need a quarter cup of olive oil. You will need two teaspoons of paprika. One and two. All right. You're going to need the two garlic cloves minced. Toss that in. The juice of one lemon. Squeeze. If you have a juicer, that is fine. Otherwise, I like to make a few slits on the side of the lemon. Makes it a bit easier to 
squeeze. And lastly, just some salt and pepper. For some seasoning. Now we're going to mix this all together after I take out this little seed. Perfect. So, mix it all together. The recipe calls for you to add the salmon to the zucchini and potatoes first, but I personally like to drench my salmon before I add it to the pan and then drizzle the remaining sauce and seasonings after. So don't be afraid to get a little dirty right here. And then you can just toss in the remaining seasoning on top. Voila, and now this is ready for the oven. Before that, let's crumple this up, make it a nice little packet, so that way all the flavors of the salmon stay infused, and it cooks it nicely. In the oven you go, set the timer for 40 minutes. And now you just sit back and relax. While our salmon cooks, I figured we would play a little round of Rob's game called What's on your fridge? Let's have a look right here. We got some pictures, some magnets of places I've been, some friends, more magnets some family, a random guy. Oh, what is this? <laughs> and that concludes our episode of What's on Your Fridge? All right, while the salmon finishes cooking, we've got about three minutes left. We're going to prep the salad. So I've already chopped up some red onion. I've have the tomatoes and the cucumbers and I've got our lemon for the dressing. So I'm gonna grab a handful of arugula, toss it in. I'm going to grab a handful of each of these. Cool, all set. Now I'm going to do the dressing which will take a few seconds. It's going to consist of a quarter cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of red wine, so I've got one right there, my second spoon right here, I have a teaspoon of dried oregano, I'm going to squeeze in the juice of one lemon. Oops. Squeeze me sweet. Awesome. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of salt and pepper. So a little salt. And some pepper. Throw the lid on. Then we shake, 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 shake the bottle. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Lovely. Our dressing. Voila. Okay. We're going to keep that there. We're going to add the dressing just before we serve our plate. It's ready! 
So I did have to put the salmon in for a few extra minutes. Um, so let's take that out. Perfect. So in total it was about 45 minutes. And now we can start plating. Let's open this up. Ta-da! Gorgeous, isn't it? Okay. Now the moment we've been waiting for, we are going to plate this food. Okay, so we're going to grab a piece of salmon with some of the zucchini and potatoes underneath. I'm going to Add this to the plate. Grab a bit more. I'm going to make the salad. So let's grab a nice handful. Let's grab a few more of the tomatoes, onions. I'm going to add a slice of lemon for serving. I'm going to sprinkle some feta cheese all around, like so. Last but not least, we are going to add in the dressing to the salad. Now you can add in before, but it's always nicer to kind of add it in right before serving. Perfect! And a little extra spice if you choose. Sprinkle it right on top of the salmon. And there you have it. Your Greek salmon and zucchini with a lovely Greek arugula salad on the side. Bon appetit!